Welcome back, everybody. George and I thought it couldn't get better than this until I saw that here with the team with hoagies and hops. I have never seen this type of yeah, so concoction I, about before. About two and a half years ago, I decided to play with it. So we get we get whole deli pickles from Dietz and Watson, like a lot of our other Philly cold cuts are Dietz and Watson. But what we do is I just was having fun and carved out the inside of it and put a hoagie in it. <laughs> but you can get right. any cheesesteak or any hoagie on our menu as a pickle sandwich. What do you think, great George? Cool think carb options, especially this time of the year. I use this word often, but it's genius. <laughs> and it's really good, especially yeah. with genius. the Italian hoagie. The cheesesteak can be a little bit more messier than yeah. some, but we cut it in half and, you know, I mean, you, it is different. We're watching our carbohydrates, right. yeah. so having all that goodness inside a pickle. Yeah, yeah. instead of just exactly. having a bit of lettuce, it's just well, something more fun, especially if you so like too. pickles. Yeah. All right, Donnie, now you're going to build us an Italian hoagie. Oh, yes. he's ready. Woo! Yes. He's ready. So, so Let's do the All Italian right. hoagie on our menu is called the Hog Island, and it's Hog called the Island. Hog Island because it's actually where Philly Airport sits. Uh -huh. And one oh. of the myths of the hoagie is back in World War I, a lot of the Italians uh, used to go down and work at the uh, shipyard, mm -hmm. and they would bring their large Italian loaves of bread, with stuff with obviously lots of Italian meats mm. and veggies, and it would... Um, basically, they'd eat on that all day. So it was one of the one of the myths about where that came from. So that's a Hog Island, and the Italian is house oil that I make, um, which is oh, my so favorite. Make okay. I make that, and it's it took me a little bit to get it going, but then mm. this was it. But it has uh, Italian cold cuts. We have capicola, prosciutto, ham, salami. Provolone cheese. Italian's but then, one of my, it's my favorite sandwiches. Oh, like it's, sandwich place Italian. It's, it's what I miss more than any sandwich. I miss it more than the cheesesteak. You get shredded oh, really? lettuce, very thin sweet Vidalia onion, thin slice, slices of tomato. And do you, now, do you stay completely mm, away from mayo with this? Or? I do. There uh -huh. are people who like to put it on there, but you just yeah. need my oil. You don't need anything. Yeah. That oil goes uh, on anything and makes it all that's better. That's all you really well, need. He, he, yes. Donnie soaked it. Yeah, with, he's good with this, this too. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, he knows. And that's the other thing. You have to soak the bread. I mean, all the guys are trained to make sure it goes from one end to the other. Okay. Yeah. And you, we also, you're going to see him hit it again on top. So you know, I like that, that you do that because it really is the little things, right? My it husband is. says I'm the worst, like, food critic there is because he's like, you could do this for a living. Because I'm like, well, it's the little things. It needs to yes. be here. It needs to be all over the Yeah. I mean, my I'm husband gonna... and I are both that way. It has to have the same bite <laughs> right. and taste in every bite. I'm going to postulate that you do not want to eat this while driving a car. <laughs> People just, do. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you know, this is all, so. This is the Italian, definitely on our that? devour menu, which starts next Tuesday for us, but for the most of the city yes. Monday. Well, let's rehash that again yes. for people who might be just joining us. Okay. Yeah. So devour starts wow. this coming week. Um, we have a right deal there. for thirteen dollars seventy-five cents, and you mm, get an okay. Italian hoagie. You get any hoagie that we have on our menu there. We got cheesesteaks, the pickle hoagie. Um, you get a side, you get one of our Boulevard Oreo cream cheese balls, and also a fountain drink or mm. a tasty beer from Chili Water Tap Room, who's our partner there. at Butler Tarkington neighborhood. So we're located on 4155 uh, Boulevard Place, so just south of Butler University. Um, we also are celebrating three years at this location. We've been around for six, but three years, February 3rd. So nice. we're giving back a dine out to donate to the Butler Tarkington Association. So great day to come out. We also have jazz that night. And then also take advantage of the deal with Devour. And we're doing uh, all, a lot of Devour restaurants are going to be available carry out and dine in. They don't there just make go. hoagies. Christina can talk a starving cattle for shrimp boat. <laughs> I can. You yeah. have no idea. George, I think you need to switch places <laughs> okay. because you might need to try and make sure that beer is going to go yeah, pretty good yeah. with the sandwich. Yeah. Right. Oh, chili water will appreciate all. your <laughs> feedback. Yeah, he has been talking about it all morning, I do believe. And this, this is their pilsner. This is like their this staple nice. right there. This it's very nice. Good with food. And yes. it goes great with all with anything yeah. spicy or non-spicy. So basically anything on our menu, it's nice. That's easy. a nice sandwich too. Again, QR code on the bottom left hand corner, you guys right there on your screen to where you can simply scan it with your phone and learn so much more. I mean, there's yeah. a lot to choose from with these restaurants. There is. And like and you said, support local food. Because too. of like a spin guy, I mean I wish I just, you know, you might be able to but I have these <laughs> tank tops. I work out for cheesesteaks and beer. Oh, we do a few of them George, left. you could wear that in your so. next workout segment. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I said, what, what's going on over here? What, what nothing, are you doing? Nothing, nothing's <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing's going on. Nothing to see here, people. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing, that's nothing what I thought. to see here. Oh, oh, here. Man, just a little investigation. Nothing, just a little, just a little investigation. Yeah, make sure it's all okay. Just to make sure everything's healthy. The teams arrived. See, that's what we love you, Randall. You're just looking out for our well-being. I have to. You know, you know, we got people like Christina bringing stuff in here that we need to investigate. He's a huge supporter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Oh, he's a hot supporter. 
Well, as he tries to uh -huh, make us believe what Which he's throwing over here, mm -hmm. we're going to throw it on over to today's offer from.